Hi YouTube, this is Shibabs and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here or welcome back to my channel if you're a returning viewer. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a traditional drive like this one into your PC. So if you've never done this before, this video is going to be perfect for you. lane fast call it high speed i've been working hard yeah i've been working nightly if you think you'll win ha nah likely i'd be taking shots yeah cold-blooded icy watching numbers grow is what i call sightseeing in the front row run it up when they hype me the following grows they know how to ignite me call me ceo i've been running right see and i ain't playing games i create my own lane making pleasure out of pain uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a f***ing name I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness I just wanna be greatness Let's start by identifying two simple things. Modern hard drives use the SATA interface. They have two main connectors. The small one is for data transfer and the big one is for power. If you look closely, you'll see an L shaped on there, that little notch. This makes it so the cable can only plug in one way, which is a good thing because it means you really can't mess things up. Hard drives have sets of mounting holes on both sides. We have to slide the drive into the cage or the tray if you have a tray and make sure that the holes line up with the screws. In this case we don't have a screw but we have like this plastic screws. It's important to make sure that when you do that that all the connections should be facing back. Now we can start hooking up the cables starting with a power cable that's the bigger of the two connections on the back of the drive and then connect the data cable. Now we go to the motherboard, we need to locate the SATA connectors on the motherboard. These are the two SATA connectors here. They are quite different from a lot of Acer N60 or let's just say the older versions because the older versions have their connectors like right here. Let's just say the connectors on the edges of the board. But in this case we have it here in the middle, one for each drive. So we are going to connect the SATA power cable. So we have this small holes here, which is gonna align with this. And this one here is gonna align with this to show you what direction. So I'm gonna use the first port. Now we have the data cable and plug it into one of the open ports. Remember it only goes in one way so you can't really mess things up. The same thing with the SATA power connection. These two right here that we're looking at, these are the data connector. One for each drive. So I'm going to use the first one to connect our drive. And we are good to go. So that's pretty all there is to it. We now go ahead and put the case back together, put the side panels on and screw everything up. Plug it in and turn on. <laughs> 